Hi everyone, it's Robert with startingarestaurant.com and kitchenportertech.com. Today we're going to update our Facebook landing page. Several months ago we used FBML. Uh, this time around we're going to use HTML. And I'm going to show you some of the neat things that you can do. In fact, we're going to create coupons here that CrateMaker will change daily and weekly. You can do the same thing. It will create these coupons so that your fans, when they come onto your page, they'll see coupons that they can use uh, throughout uh, their experience on Facebook when they go onto your page. So let's take a look at the CrateMaker example. Go to the HTML piece or the program that we installed. But before we do that, we have to show you how to install it. So if you haven't installed it, the first thing you want to do is search for it. Very simple. Let's type in HTML. Those will be the keywords. It'll pull up a list. And what we want to install is static HTML iframes tab. It's the white star with the gray background. So you'll click on it. Once it loads the page, you're going to click on add static HTML to page. And you're going to follow the wizard. So make sure you click on the button and follow through as it goes uh, through its wizard. As you can see, I've already installed this application. So it's letting me know it's already installed but you'll finish and you'll get it installed. Once it's finally installed, you'll go to your home page and you should see welcome with a star on it. So let's click on the home page. Once the home page loads, click on the page that you installed. In this case, I'm going to click Crate Maker. Once the Crate Maker page loads, you'll notice on the left hand side I have something called Featured with a star. Now I named it Featured, however you can name it whatever you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it so you can see the HTML editor load once it's installed properly. Once the HTML editor loads, yours will be empty. Mine's has code because I've already put it in there now. All this code's available to you so you can download it and uh, just tweak it and make it your own. Now, you may not want to call it featured. Maybe you want to call it something else. Uh, let's say you decide, you know, I, instead of calling it featured, I, I'd rather call it coupon so that when my fans do log in they'll see a coupon link well that's pretty easy to do so let me show you how to get that done what you're gonna do is once you get to your home page hit the edit page once you go to the management screen make sure you go to apps because this is where we have the app installed once the apps have loaded you're gonna go to edit settings this will open a pop-up window now in this pop-up window instead of it being welcomed you can call it whatever else you want so in this case I'm gonna call it uh, coupons Let you know what let's do fan coupons we're gonna hit save and OK And now what we're going to do from here is we're going to go back to our page. So let's go to view page on the right hand corner. Once our page has reloaded, what you're going to see on your left hand side is a star with the new title fan coupons, which is what we wanted. Now let's click fan coupons so we can open up that HTML editor I showed you earlier today to show you how we're going to install or basically copy and paste the code that I put on my site, which you will tweak and make your own so you can paste it onto your site. Now that it's loaded you'll see there's a lot of code here. Uh, please don't be intimidated by it because it's going to be really easy to use and to edit. So let me show you what we can do. Now the very first box is our non-fan page. We want them to go to an image for those who aren't fans yet and we're going to tell them why they should become fans. Then the second piece here is where we're going to put our code with our coupon. So if you are a fan and you go to the left and you click fan coupons you're gonna see our ad plus you're gonna see coupons that have been added uh, to this ad so let me show you what it would look like if I wasn't a fan and I logged in if I log in and I'm not a fan here you go it says crepe maker like us and then it gives you reasons why to like us and one of them is coupons here as you can see so we want them to like it and once they like it they will actually be taken to our page where they can click on the fan coupon piece. Okay, so how's this done? I think that's what we want to know. So let's go over. Now I did this in Notepad++. You can do it in Notepad or if you have an editor like Dreamweaver or Front Page or something that you're comfortable in working in to do HTML, that's fine too. Now let's take a look at it so you can understand what we did here. Obviously the title is Crate Maker Facebook Fan Page. 
I created a style sheet. Now the style sheet's important because it defines my fonts one time, centralized, as well as my colors, my dash lines, and the way my text is going to be centered. And I want it to be a line centered in my coupon. So by making a change here, you affect the rest of the coupons. Now let's scroll down. Here is the image. This image will be displayed for my fans. So if they go there, they can load this image. Now we created this in an earlier video. So look at the earlier video for FBML and I'll show you how to create these neat ads and you can take it apart and make it your own. I still have it up here to be downloaded so you can download it as well with the HTML scripts. And if you have an editor, um, I use Fireworks, but you can use Adobe Photoshop. You can actually just transform this ad and make it your own. The next piece is the table piece where we define our coupons. So let's take a look. Uh, there are four sections and notice that I've made this piece strong which is bold. I put for these locations only. It's a 10% off coupon and we're gonna see what this translates into. Now the reason I have BR here is to make a hard break. The software doesn't understand when you hit enter to enter the line. So the way you tell the code to do it is by putting a BR there. And in fact, let me fix it because it should be BR space and a forward slash. That's the way it should look. So here's where the coupons are defined. And at this point, all I have to do is change my text here and save it, copy it, and put it in my Facebook HTML and it'll be visible. Now for non-Facebook fans, they just get the ad. They're not going to get any coupons. So this is a different ad than the ones my fans would see. And I just pointed to the location where this image is located. And if you were to copy this HTML exactly and just paste it, you'll notice that it takes you to that image that's stored on our server. So let's go back. Okay, now if you're using something like Dreamweaver or front page, and I'll show you how it looks like in Dreamweaver, you could take this code and you can paste it on Dreamweaver and make it your own. Okay, when I paste the code here in Dreamweaver, you're going to notice that the image doesn't show, and the reason is because I'm storing the image off-site, not on my hard drive. But take a look at the coupons. Pretty neat. They're right below my image, and this is what they look like. So I'm going to scroll down to show you what they are. There are four coupons here, and one uh, has a freebie, one is catering, so you could be creative with this and you can change it. The neat thing is that you can come in and change that every week or every month or once a day. However you want to do it, you can go in and, and make those changes to these coupons. Now I mentioned earlier about the style sheets and the importance of the style sheet. And let me tell you why it's important. Right now my coupons are in white. They have a white background. This background color, if I decide I want them to have a pink color, all I have to do is click here on my refresh button and you're going to notice that the HTML changes. Notice by putting pink in my background color my coupons are now pink and not white so it's pretty neat. It allows you to really play around with it. These lines although they look like solid lines are actually dashed lines because that's how they've been defined in my style sheet and I'll show you what they look like when we actually run them. They just look like solid lines here in Dreamweaver but they're not. They're dashed and I can define the thickness of those dash lines by changing this 3 to a 4 or to a 1. It's really up to me. So you're really able to make these changes on this coupon. I'm going to change it back to white for Crate Maker because that's what they want. And we're going to upload this code and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay, let's copy this code and let's go to Notepad where I originally created my code. I'm going to select it all and I'm going to copy. Next I'm going to go to my Crate Maker site where I have my HTML editor and I'm just going to click in the empty box although I have it here and just hit paste. Once you paste it you'll have all your code. You'll do the same thing for your non-fans image. Okay so now I've copied, I've pasted my code here to my HTML box. Again this is for my non-fans, the top one and here's my fans page. So I want to make sure that I copy the code in the correct sections so that they show up correctly. Okay, so once you've actually copied and pasted the code, make sure you paste it in the right section. The first box is for non-fans. So if you download my 
file, make sure you're copying the non-fan here, and make sure it's your image and not mine. And when you go to the fans page, make sure you again you copy the HTML code and make sure it's your code, not mine, so you can tweak it so it shows up uh, your information for your restaurant. The other thing you need to do is check off no scroll bars because we don't want anybody to scroll unless you really feel the need go for it but what Facebook will do is try to fit it in there and you'll see what it looks like when we're done. You can also add a YouTube video and if you want to do that at the very end of the code you can scroll down copy the embedded code and just paste it at the very end of your HTML save it now you have a video there as well so I'm going to hit save and view for crate maker it gives me a choice to view now if I want to view my non fan page or my fan page so let's take a look at the non fan page which we did earlier but let's look at it again this is our non fan page so this is what non fans will see which we saw earlier when we started this video So let's take a look at what this would look like if we were to view it as a fan the page will load and you'll notice it's very different to what my fan, my non-fans would see. It actually has today's lunch special. Um, it also has for a limited time and it just goes on and on and talks about some of the ongoing specials that Crate Maker runs um, daily. Now right below are specialty coupons. Now these are in HTML and this is what it looks like. So at this point we have that opportunity to play around with these coupons and make them different and change the font and that can all be done through HTML so let me know how it works out for you I like to see your videos I like to see your ads and your coupons to see what you put on on your Facebook page so if this helps out and you're able to create something I'd like to see it maybe post it on our blog site so other community users can take a look at it and see what creative things you've uh, made with this HTML tool. So thanks a lot. Talk to you soon.